Hello, in this video, we're going to look at the partial sum of a four year series. And in video one, F1, we looked at the four year series. It's an infinite sum of sines and cosines, which ends up making an orthogonal basis for our for our in quotes vector space and here a partial sum is instead of going to infinity we go to some number capital N and we're going to let this partial sum be capital S of capital N of X we'll, I'll just say S of N of X and we want to develop some sort of mathematical equivalents that are going to help us uh, drive things a little more easier down the road and those two identities are this A and B where the partial sum can be rewritten like this and then this of course if you take that 2 into this that's called the Dirichlet kernel so those two are equivalent and we derive the Dirichlet kernel in F6 which is the video before this one and then the next one but notice that this uh, the integral is over the from minus pi to pi and in part B we're going to derive the partial sum from 0 to pi which is going to be this and then of course if you take that 2 into this that's the Dirichlet series so let's just start in with proof A and we're going to first develop a, a a trig identity or you'll see so this this piece here is part of the the partial sum it's this piece here that we're going from one to capital N so if we put in the the uh, four year coefficients for a and B and that was in uh, video f4 they're this so the a n is this and of course the cosine comes down the bn is is defined like this that's a co uh, for your coefficient and the sine of course comes straight down now this is the the sum of two integrals over the same range so we can combine these so the the pi over 1 over pi of course we can factor that out and then when we combine this plus this under the same integral we get this where f of t is is factored out and the rest of it is right here now this right here can be reduced using a trig identity in which we derived in f2 so this can be written as a cosine of the difference of these two uh, angles then when we put this back in our partial sum so here's the partial sum and this piece here we just showed was this and then the the co year the uh, four year coefficient for a zero is this and now we're back into the same where we have the sum of two integrals same range so we we can combine them in, into this and then here notice that we have a one half and then we have the sum of cosines well this here is the uh, the Dirichlet kernel and and we showed that in F6 so we could just instantly write this as as this now if we um, do a u substitution u equals t minus x and then substitute that in we get this and notice the limits of integration change too by a constant amount but since our functions are periodic then um, you can just you know you can add x to both of these and it gets back to the minus pi over pi and then this is this is what we wanted to show now notice though that some books actually use this as part of their formula and so this is equivalent to this and then if we stick in the Dirichlet kernel here 
we get back to this and then these two pieces are what we wanted to show in part A. Now part B, um, we, the, oh, so this is over the whole range, minus pi to pi. And so in part B, we wanted to restrict it to zero to pi. And so this is our partial sum that we just proved in part A, right? So this is the partial sum. And um, we can break this piece up to going from zero to pi and then minus pi to zero. So it's the same thing. And then if we do a u substitution on only this part, so this piece comes down, and then we did a u substitution here. Now, if we take this negative and flip the order of integration, and since du, the u is a dummy variable, we're going to change that to t, then we get this. Now these are uh, the sum we're integrating over the same region. We have 1 over pi, so we can combine those into this. And then this is one part of the what we wanted to show. Now if we replace this with the formula for Dirichlet kernel, then we get this. And notice there's a 2 involved here, but I just I brought it out front. And so that's it. And so those are the two things that we wanted to prove in this video about the partial sum. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.